Hello students, welcome back to the maths class. In this class, we are going to discuss some more features of statistics and solve some more sums. So students, till now we have seen the different graphs in statistics. Let us now move to the next part of statistics which is called the measures of central tendency. Here also we are having the distribution table and we will try to make some senses from here out of the table that is out of the data given to us. Now let us start with it. Consider the situation when two students Mary and Hari received their test copies. The test had five questions each carrying 10 marks and their scores were as follows. Let us look at the table. Let us see the table given to us. In the first row we are having the question numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the second row we are having the marks Mary scored out of 10 in all these questions. That is in question number 1 she got 10. In question number 2 she got 8. In question number 3 9 and number 4 she got 8 and in question number 5 she got 7. And in the third row we are having Hari's score which is 4 in question number 1, 7 in question number 2, 10 in question number 3, 10 in question number 4 and 10 in question number 5. Now upon getting the test copies both of them found their averages as follows. Mary has got the average score that is 42 which is the total of all her marks divided by 5 which is coming as 8.4 and Hari's average score is 41 that is the total of his marks divided by 5 which is equal to 8.2. Since Mary's average score was more than Hari's, Mary claimed to have performed better than Hari. But Hari did not agree. He arranged both their scores in ascending order and found out the middle score as given below. These are the scores of Mary. She got 7, 8, 8, 9 and 10. And in the next row we have Hari score which are 4, 7, 10, 10, 10. Hari said that since his middlemost score was 10 which was higher than Mary's middlemost score that is 8, his performance should be rated better. But Mary was not convinced. To convince Mary, Hari tried out another strategy. He said that he has scored 10 marks more often, that is 3 times as compared to Mary, who scored 10 marks only once. So his performance was better. Now to settle the dispute between Hari and Mary, let us see the three measures they adopted to make their point. The average score that Mary found in the first case is mean. The middle score that Hari was using to his argument is the median and the most often scored mark that Hari used in his second strategy is the mode. Now let us first look at the mean in detail. The mean or average of a number of observation is the sum of the value of all the observations divided by the total number of observations. It is denoted as x bar. Let us concentrate example 10 of your book. The question is 5 people were asked about their time in a week they spend in doing social work in their community. They said 10, 7, 13, 20 and 15 hours respectively. Then find the mean or average time in a week devoted by them for social work. Now look at the solution. We have already studied in the class that mean is calculated as sum of all the observations divided by total number of observation. So the answer that is the mean will be 10 plus 7 plus 13 plus 20 plus 15 divided by 5 which is 65 by 5 which is equal to 13. So we can say that the mean time spent by these 5 people in doing social work is 13 hours in a week. 
Let us now move back to the situation of the argument between Hari and Mary and consider the second case where Hari found his performance better by finding the middlemost score. The median is that value of the given number of observations which divides exactly into two parts. So when the data is arranged in ascending or descending order, the median of ungrouped data is calculated as follows. There are two rules for medians. First one, when the number of observation that is n is odd, then the median is the value of the n plus 1 by 2th observation. For example, if n is 13, the value of the 13 plus 1 by 2th that is the 7th observation will be the median. Now in the second case, when the number of observation that is n is even, then the median is the mean of the n by 2th and the n by 2 plus 1th observation. So let us take an example for that. Suppose n is equal to 16, then the mean of the value of 16 by 2th and the 16 by 2 plus 1th observation. That is the mean of the values of the 8th and 9th observations will be the median. Let us illustrate this with the help of some example. Let us focus on example 12 of your book. The height in centimeter of 9 students of a class are as follows. 155, 160, 145, 149, 150, 147, 152, 144 and 148. Find the median of this data. Let us see the solution. To find the median, first of all, we will have to arrange the data in ascending order. After arranging them, it is like 144 first, then 145, then 147, then 148, then 149, then 150, 152, 155 and the last one is 160. Now since the number of students is 9, an odd number, we find out the median by finding the height of the n plus 1 by 2. Here 9 plus 1 by 2, that is the fifth student, which is 149 centimeter. So we can come to the conclusion that the medial height is 149 centimeter. Now let us focus on example 13 where we have the number of observation as even number. So example 13 says the points scored by a Kabaddi team in a series of matches are as follows 17, 2, 7, 27, 15, 5, 14, 8, 10, 24, 48, 10, 8, 7, 18, 28. Then find the median of the points scored by the team. Now look at the solution. Arranging the points scored by the team in ascending order, we have now 2, 5, 7, 7, 8, 8, 10, 10, 14, 15, 17, 18, 24, 27, 28 and 48. There are 16 terms, so there are two middle terms that is the 16 by 2 and 16 by 2 plus 1 a term that is they are 8th and 9th terms. Now so the median is the mean of the values of these two terms that is 8th and 9th. So the median will be 10 which is the 8th term and 14 which is the 9th term 10 plus 14 by 2 which is 12. So the median point scored by the Kabaddi team is 12. Hope you all have understood the example. Now let us go to the next example to understand the concept of mode. The mode is that value of the observation which occurs most frequently. So we focus on example 14 for that. The question says find the mode of the following mark out of 10 obtained by 20 students and the marks are given as 4, 6, 5, 9, 3, 2, 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 9, 10, 10, 3, 4, 7, 6, 9, 9. 
Now let us see the solution. Here also we arrange them in the ascending order. After arrangement, the numbers are as follows. 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 10. Now after looking at the numbers, we can come to the conclusion that here 9 occurs most frequently. That is the maximum number of times. That is 4 times. So we can say that the mode is 9. I hope you all have understood the examples. Now let us move to the last exercise, exercise 14.4. Let us see question number 1. That says the following number of goals were scored by a team in a series of 10 matches. And the numbers are 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 3, 3, 4, 3. The question says find the mean, median and the mode of these scores. So now let us move to solve the sum. Find the mean, median and the mode of this data. Now let us solve it. The numbers given to us were 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 3, 3, 4 and 3. Now let us find the mean first. Now to find the mean, first we add all the numbers and then divide it by 10 which is the number of terms given to us. So it is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 which is 28 divided by 10. So the answer for mean is 2.8. Next we come to median. Now to find the median we need to arrange the numbers in ascending order. After arranging the numbers in ascending order they look like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Now since here the number of terms is 10, that is our 10 is n which is even. So for that we need to use the second formula, that is 1 by 2, this is 1 by 2 is used to find the mean of the two observations. Then 10 by 2 observation plus the same one 10 by 2 plus 1th observation which is 5th observation plus 6th observation. Now here our 5th observation is 3 and then next 3. These are the two 5th and 6th observation. So they are 3 plus 3 by 2. So the answer is 3. So we can say that our median is 3. And lastly is our mode. After arranging them in the ascending order, we can see that the number 3 is appearing maximum number of times, that is 4 times. So we can come to the conclusion that our mode is 3. I hope this is clear to you all. Next question is number 2 that says, in a mathematics test given to 15 students, the following marks out of 100 are recorded. They are 41, 39, 48. 52, 46, 62, 54, 40, 96, 52, 98, 40, 42, 52, 60. Find the mean, median and the mode of this data. Now let us solve it. First we find the mean. To find the mean, first of all, we add all the numbers given to us, divide by the number of terms, which is 15 in this case. So we have added all the numbers and then divided by 15. The sum of all is 822 divided by 15. The result is 54.8. Now next is median. To find the median, we arrange the numbers in the ascending order. So we started with 39, then 40 and 40 till we go to the highest number that is 98. Now since in this case the number of observation is 15 which is odd. So the median will be followed by the first formula that is 15 plus 1 by 2th observation which is 8th observation and in this case it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So we can say that 52 is the median. Now to find the mode we have observed that 
the 52 number is appearing maximum number of times, 3 times. So, we can come to the conclusion that our mode is 52. I hope this is clear. Now, let us come to question number 3 of exercise 14.4 that says the following observations have been arranged in an ascending order. Now, if the median of the data is 63, find the value of x. The numbers are 29, 32, 48, 50, x, x plus 2, 72, 78, 84 and 95. Now, let us solve it. So, here is the solution for question number 3. It was given that the numbers are already in the ascending form. So, they are 29, 32, 48, 50, x, x plus 2, 72, 78, 84 and 95. So, we can see that there are exactly 10 terms which is even. So, we go for the second formula of median. So, median is equal to 1 by 2 into 10 by 2th observation plus 10 by 2 plus 1th observation. Also given to us that the median is equal to 63. So, here instead of median we write the value 63 is equal to 1 by 2 and then 5th observation plus 6th observation. And then the next step instead of 5th observation we write the 5th observation that is x and instead of 6th observation we write the 6th observation which is x plus 2. Next we go to the simplification of the equation. This implies 63 is equal to 1 by 2 into 2x plus 2. Then in the next step 63 is equal to 1 by 2. Then we take 2 common then we get x plus 1. Then this 2 will be cancelled. In the next step 63 is equal to x plus 1. So x is equal to 63 minus 1 which is 62. That is your answer is. I hope this is clear to you now. Let us discuss question number 4 that says find the mode of 14, 25, 14, 28, 18, 17, 18, 14, 23, 22, 14, 18. We are supposed to find the mode. Mode is the number which appears maximum number of times. So students I hope you have already got it. The answer is 14 here because this is appearing maximum number of times that is 4 times. So we can come to the conclusion that our mode is 14. Our next question is number 5 which says find the mean salary of 60 workers of a factory from the following table. In the table we were given two columns. First column is the salary. They are 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, 8000, 9000 and 10000. And in the second column we have the number of workers which is the frequency. It is 16, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 1. So let us solve it now. So here is the solution for question number 5. It was given the salaries as this 3000, 4000, 5000 up to 10,000. We mark this column as xi, i indicates from 1 to 8. Okay. Next column is the frequency, this is also given to us. They are 16, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3 and 1. We mark this column as f of i, i indicates that is f1 is 16, f2 for 12, f3 for 10 and so on. Next we make another column which will be the product of this two that is f of i into x of i that means 3000 into 16 which is 48000 then 4000 into 12 is 48000 then 5000 into 10 50000 6000 into 8 48000 7000 into 6 42000 8000 into 4, 32000, 9000 into 3, which is 27000, and the last one, 10000 into 1, and the last one, 10000 into 1, which is 10000. Now we find the total of both the columns. The sum of F is equal to 60, which is also given to us in the question. Then the next column, that is the sum of Fx. And the answer we get 3050.
0, 0, 0. Next, to find mean, the formula is sum of f into x divided by sum of f. So, we put these two values there. Sum of f into x is 305 000 divided by sum of f which is 60. And we get the answer as 5083.33. So, we can come to the conclusion that our mean for this sum is 5083.33 which will be your mean salary. I hope this is clear. There is one more question in this exercise that is question number 6 which asks give one example of a situation in which first bit the mean is an appropriate measure of central tendency and second bit the mean is not an appropriate measure of central tendency. So we are supposed to give an example for these two. Now when we talk about mean as an appropriate measure of central tendency that means we are talking about an accurate answer, exact answer. So that can be the test marks or any other activities, any sports that is the score of a sports and so on. And when we say that the mean is not an appropriate measure of central tendency, then we will consider those cases where we cannot measure the level. Suppose the beauty of a person or the intelligence of a person and so on. Those are the examples where mean is not an appropriate measure of central tendency. So students what we have learned in this chapter let us see the summary of it. First of all facts or figures collected with a definite purpose are called data. Then second one is that statistics is the area of study dealing with the presentation, analysis and interpretation of data. Then we learned that how data can be presented graphically in the form of bar graphs, histograms and frequency polygons. And at the last, we learned the three means of central tendency for ungrouped data and they are mean, median and mode. So we have gone through all this aspect of statistics and I hope you all have understood and learned statistics. So students, here we come to the end of this chapter. We will meet again with the concept of a new chapter. Till then, take care, keep smiling. Thank you.